Hi everybody. Hi guys. I am on YouTube now, not Facebook. Oh right, okay. Oh, so much more easier than bloody Facebook. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm on YouTube now, not uh, Facebook. Go to your home. No, no, come on. Home and that. Yes, well, I don't know what you're oh, chatting there you about. Go, there you are. Uh, hello. Just get in the comments up now, guys. Hello, the amount of naught people. Shut up, you. I'm going to answer down now. The sound is off, you are. So, tonight. Oh, look at my goodies. <laughs> Sorry if the camera's shaking. Um, if you're there, give us a bell or a comment, as I would normally say. I've got the comments up. Um, and as you can see, look, I love buttons. All different shape buttons. Ooh, my candy. This is my candy. My kind of buttons. Right. Pushing that aside a second. I made something last night. Um, and I'm going to do a bit of a... Tell Chris I said, all right, Baba. I will do when he comes back in. Hi, Ranji. Hi, Shirley. When he comes back in, Angie, I will tell him you said, all right, Baba. Hi, Angie Brown. Chris is watching Homer Simpson. <laughs> right, can you see my candies in the room? It should be your right. Might be right, yeah, I think it's your right. Anyway, I'm going to do a spin on my design. So, I designed this. Shirley, are you recognising the bottom of this? These are, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. Um, the bottom is bandles. And I've actually made a little flower arrangement. Oh my God. <laughs> and I've made a flower arrangement. So I'm going to do a bit of a spin on this. Because as much as I love doing flowers, you don't want me sitting here doing flowers. It's the same method. But I use flowers with this. Instead, I'm going to be using... Tonight, I'm going to be doing a pair of pin cushion. Love the bottoms. They're bandles. They're just ordinary bandles. show you them now. Because I will need them. I forgot to get them out. These are the bandles. Oh, these are the bandles. So, I put five of these. No, there's more than five, collect Because there's one on the top. So, there's two, four, six... Eight. There's eight bandles all together on this, um, and they are about half an inch, maybe less. Some are half an inch wider, some are thinner. They're all different colours, as you can see. So what I've done is I've glued them on top of each other, um, and I've created some flowers. And the glistening on the flowers is, of course, diamond dust. Of course it would be. Right, so that's what I did. So I'm going to do a bit of a spin on the creation I've already done. So I need... Now, all these are different colours. Jingling, ling, 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 ling. Well, anyway, there's different colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Let's see if I've got... I'm going to take um, a couple of these... So we will go with, because I want my, I'm going to do a pin cushion with a bit of a twist. So all I'm doing is I'm picking out um, the, these two red ones in the centre. Then the two that I'm going to use. Um, maybe I'll have another one there. And... Green goes quite nice. So I might use them. And let me see. There's a pink and there's a red and gold one. So I've got two, four, six, seven. I need another, possibly another two. Does that go? Maybe so, maybe so. Oh, there we are. There we are. There's my eight. Okay. So I've got two, four, six. I've actually got nine. 
with them and back. There we are. Some of them match, some of them don't, um, but I'm not really fussed as long as long as I've got sort of this to contend with. So next to me, I've got a plate. You all know these plates. I've used them before in the past. And I've got a plastic dish. Now these are barbecue dishes. You know, you can buy the plastic cutlery, the plastic knives and forks. You can get glasses, cups, you name it, you can get it. Well, I've got a plastic bowl. Now, I Diana, I want my table. I don't know about you ladies. I've got a pin cushion. I'll show you my pin cushion I made myself. This is my pin cushion. Right? And that's my pin cushion. Now, she is always on my table because you never know when you need a, a needle. But... I haven't got nowhere to keep my candies. Where am I going to keep them? I can't keep them on my pin cushion. I can't keep them in a drawer. Otherwise, I'll forget they're there. I can't keep them with my lace because that would just be totally disorganised and that would just throw me completely off. Where am I going to keep them? So instead, this is what I'm going to do. Using these bandles. I am going to put my own spin on this and I'm going to sit that in the middle of my dish and make it into a sewing um, theme dish, if you know what I mean. So that I can keep my candies and I can keep my goodies in one place. So the first thing I need, dish aside, because I need Chris to cut the stuff up for me. Um, now I'm using foam. You can buy this type of foam or you can wait for a real nice parcel to come at Christmas and you can keep it. All it is is polyester foam. See? Now I've got two different width, width thicknesses. I know I'm coming close to you guys. So I don't want it that thick. Let me see how this... How thick is this? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to see if I'll use the grey one. And if I mark my bandles up next to the grey polyester, it shows me how many bandles that it'll take for it to get full. Now that's going to take four, which means my pin cushion isn't going to be that big. So I could either put two of these together and that would give me my eight bandles, or I could see how thick this is up against the eight bandles this was quite thick see there's my eight bandles so I've still got maybe a half an inch at the top so I could add my bandles and make my little pin cushion a bit higher in the center and I think I might just do that that's what I need first thing I need to do and I use it use this polystyrene for almost anything i've just raised you up because you don't want to be that close to me um now this is the way i did it last night chris actually cut it out last night because i get in the right mess with polyester you need a bandle draw around the inside of your bandle it's the first thing you need to do and then you need to go find a really nice fella mine's from birmingham to cut your shape bowl. So there's my circle. And how I started it off was I pushed one bandle in the polyester, just push it and make a dent. Now that's made a bit of a dent. Chris? Chris? Christopher? Right, I need. No, he's got my knife from last night. Right, so that's that. When he comes in, I shall do that. Now, my little dish, it's only plastic, so I can't be doing much with it. Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my... Now, since I've got... I'm going to use my new trims, I think. Now, since I've got in that bundle, I've got red. I'm going to go with the colours on the bandles rather than me trying to pick colours out see how that's bringing the gold up it's bringing the gold up in the bandles and it's bringing the gold up on here so what I'm going to do is I am going to find my little knife ok 
kill my husband because he's not coming. Chris! Yeah. There we are. I'm going to cut this off because this is going to go in the centre on top or maybe at the side because I want these leaves to go around my bowl. Yes, dear. I need you to cut that thing for me. Oh, right. yeah. Is that the hole? Yeah, that's the hole. Alright, oh, I need a, a craft knife. You've already got mine. You oh. never given me back. No, I didn't use yours. I used mine. I oh. used my um. Well, then why do you need Stanley mine? Stanley blade. It, the blade's popped out. And I was oh. back in. Right, so I've cut that now. And I'm going to cut them into what, separate right? pieces because I need the separate pieces to go on my bowl. So how has everybody been doing? So now you all know what I'm doing tonight. I can yak at you and go along with the flow. So I have been in my craft room all day. Um... I've been watching back-to-back -back YouTube videos all day just from one particular channel and that was Angie Pacey and she is an excellent crafter um, if you're not already subscribed go and subscribe because you will not be disappointed my favourite one so far has to be the only one I haven't watched I will admit it is the gingerbread man that's the only one she did. Um, uh, she's getting ready for Christmas, I think. No, she did a video on gingerbread men. She made a gingerbread, and I got ten minutes into it, and I got disturbed. So I haven't gone back to watch it, but I will do. That won't stop me. But um, no, I've been watching her videos back to back all day today. She actually thought there was something wrong. She had all the comments all at once. So I'm going to use what I've got. Now, I have got this gorgeous lace. Um, it's just come from an old top it has. I've been doing good today. I also watch her. It's gone fuzzy, Chris. But that's not me. I'm not even on the internet. That's back to... It's because when you move... I found this. When you move, right, it goes to sorry, Luxie. It's only when I'm moving. I'm just going to minimise this, we'll move this out of the way. Right. I don't minimise one. Right, where's the band? Oh, there they are. Oh, no wonder you've got them. Look at this, eh? Oh, no, actually. It's kind of made it better, isn't it? I don't know. Chris is playing around with the picture. No. It's, I'm going to get polyester everywhere. Oh, yes. I'm bringing... You didn't cut this perfect circle last night, the perfect circle. Yeah, because the, the thing that you used last night wasn't polyester, it was like bloody foam. Like that stuff. So how am I going to fill in the gaps? I don't know. Is Could. Right. Uh, I don't know what that's going to be stuck. Um, I'm just going to put my band rod on you. Now, the way I did it last night was because I only made that thing last night. So I put the bandles on first and then I glued it. Um, it doesn't matter if I've got gaps because I did get a perfect circle last night, as you heard me tell Chris. But, um, yeah, what are we? But, um, it doesn't really matter what you use, but you can see how much mess I'm going to make. Yeah, I'm not very good with polyester, I must admit. Right. I push it up. Because I don't, for whatever reason, if I go up a bit, it seems to be tighter. So we can have done perfect circle. And then that one. Right? Now, as you can see, there's a gap. See the gap? Right, I need my knife back. Chris, if you have my knife, I'm going to get my rotary blade out now in a minute. Say that You've not my knife. I used the kitchen knife to cut that. Have you got any settings on this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll point. I'll brush your kitchen knife. I 
doesn't matter if you're gonna get oh perfect circle. I'm gonna make a complete and a mess of this tonight. Oh you you did it. After I just went out of the room and got you your bloody. Oh mouth. you never did. Yeah. It doesn't matter what mess it is at the minute because you won't see it. So it could be Fred's head mess. Right, i got to do some in of this. I will have been everywhere. Chris thinks I'm calling him again. I don't know. Um, Angie Brown says, been good today. I also, I also watch Angie Paisley. Well, she should appreciate the support. That's for sure, guys. I'm just going to get rid of this polyester. Because polyester, for some reason, you only have to blow and it goes everywhere. What's this? Oh, it's, it's, we used to hate this as kids because my brothers used to tear it apart at Christmas and think it's highly funny. I did it all over the floor. Yeah, big sister role was to clean it up all the mess. So, I have now stuck all my bracelets. Now, I'm not bothered by the shape of it all the fact is that it hasn't filled up all the gaps because you won't get a perfect cut cut in a circle you won't so what i'm going to do is i'm going to feed some glue just on the bandle inside right Be careful with this because you will burn. That's why I keep meaning to get is Angie Paisley said today in her life in on her video that if you burned yourself to get um a bowl of water and a sponge and you dip your hand in this in the in sponge it's just an ordinary kitchen sponge and the burn goes away really quick you should have been here today my words weren't um it's quick my words were on my day this is burning so i've got some doilies i've got some round doilies that i've been playing about with um and i'm gonna cut my polyester now it has been a bundle that slid off Right. And I'm going to glue just on the bandle this time. Right. I'm going to do the same with this side. Glue on the bandle. I know the pitch is really distorted. I can see it not being for some reason it is tonight. Right, my bandle's now in place. It doesn't look tidy at all and I'm not going to pretend it is. What I am going to do is I'm going to... That's obviously not doing nothing. That's flat as I can get it. Right. Um, and I'm just going to cut this side down. Now, I have got, see how it's left gaps, it's not doing much at all. But at least all, the look I'm going for is all the bandles stay in one place. Which is what's happening there. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to wave up about this. I am going to use a different bandle. Uh, let me see. Just to place on top. Because I'm not bothered by that because I can put some stuffing in. How you doing? So what have you ladies been up to today then? See? 
just be really careful when you're using the um, glue gun because I don't know where Shirley got these bandles from. That you'll have to ask Shirley with. Now that I can turn that one, but I quite like the idea of that being turned. I'm a fidgeter, so I like quite like the idea of it turned. Right, I'm going to scoot them out of the way. Put a safety cap on my rotary cutter because I don't want to be cutting myself. And get all this polyester on my way. Because a little bit can turn into a lot. Move this one bit. Right. Now, I have got some stuff in. Mm, let me see. I tidied my drawers today. Been at work in the hospital today. Oh, that's where you work, I showed Shirley. I didn't realise that was... Do you know, I've been everywhere with Shirley. I was at um, oh, London Heathrow Airport the other day. I was at... Where was I the, yesterday with you, Shirley? I've been to London ha Airport with her. And I've been... Um, I got the bandles from a boot site. There we are, see? I knew she'd tell you all where she got them from. And I'm going to... What I do need to do, because all the bandles are the same shape, I'm going to use one. I'm just going to put my hand down on it for the second. And I'm going to just roughly cut around it. Now, it's not going to be in a perfect circle because... Right. might be a bit taller than expected now that is going fitting in there perfect but because I want my pin cushions to go in there I'm going to triple it up what I mean by that is fold it in half fold your stuffing in half now I could cut let me start again I could stick that on there cut it round and then stick it there and cut it round but because I want two to put on that one if I fold it in half Put my bandle on top and then cut around the bandle. And she says she's been babysitting a one year old. But that's joys of fun. <laughs> joys and joys of fun. Well, I've got something to tell you, ladies, when I'm doing this. I had a date night mm, with Chris. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as mm -hmm, as you mm -hmm, I think. <laughs> well, it was my my turn to pick the movie, you see. And uh, I sort of picked the mummy, and I picked the mummy, and I didn't realise. Well, I did. I knew it was a scary movie, but I've been sort of okay up, up until now with uh, scary movies especially the mummy because I was thinking oh I was a kid you know yeah we were all sat there let me give you the scene oh come on good one right we're all sat there now moving on getting in about oh I don't know about halfway through Chris says, shall I make a cup of tea? Brilliant, Chris. I'd ordered a pizza. Everything was going swimmily. We were still sat and watching the movie. Chris goes into the kitchen. Now, let me fill you in. Right. Living room's there. Our kitchen's there. To get through our kitchen, you sort of got to walk through this door to get to our kitchen. So, he, let me, the fridge is the scene, right? He's walking this way past me into the kitchen to make tea. And I'm sat here now just behind the door watching TV. And uh, he's made tea. All's well in the garden ha garland household. Ceiling lights off, the lamp is on. Dogs have just come in from going to the toilet at the back. Lovely. Chris comes, the dogs came trotting in. Hey, yeah, I'm back now, kind of thing. You know, what have I missed? So I was playing a bit of 
toys with the dog. And then Chris has made tea. And he picks the cups up and he comes walking in. And he gets to about you. Now I'm sat there, right? He gets to about you. And I go, ah! <laughs> Sorry for the threat, everyone. Chris, with two teas in his hand, jumped. The teas went everywhere. <laughs> the teas went everywhere. And he went, where did you scream? I went, well, the monsters were coming. He said the monsters were nowhere near where they were supposed to be coming from. <laughs> Chris, the two cups of teas went everywhere. <laughs> two, the two teas went everywhere. I was sat there laughing because Chris is not frightened. He doesn't frighten easy, but I do. And he jumped because I screamed. He screamed because I screamed. <laughs> and it was like, you know when you do a reaction and you sort of don't think that you're doing it? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. So you can imagine. Uh, <clears throat> the noise I was causing. <laughs> it was so funny. Really, really funny. Now, what I've done. <laughs> I'm sorry if I frightened anybody. Deanna and Shirley. And Dawn put all oh, lol. Yeah, it was a lot. Well, I thought it was highly funny. So what I've done is I've glued each layer of that padding in now, because I want oh, because I want the padding to stay there and be itself. I'm just gonna cut that bit there because he is annoying me. And I'm just gonna trim around now. You can add another layer if you want to, because this is gonna. Be uh, pins are gonna go inside it or you could do with the three bouncy <laughs> I use bandles as picture frames I put lace around them and pull them up oh well that's a good idea Angie Paisley put in ban using bandles as for picture frames I'll have to do I got a couple of bandles left over Shirley and you give me 32 bandles <laughs> She gave them to me, oh, how long ago? About a month ago. I did put a video on it. Um, but she gave them to me a month ago and they've been sat looking at me and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to do something with them, I'm going to do something with them. And I haven't done nothing with them. Now, I've got this doily. Um, or I can use this. I'm going to show you what this is in a minute. I've also got right. I've also got them. It's pink and green. Or on the side, I've got this mat. Now, this mat came from Fiona's shop. Um, I bought a doily bag, and that was in the doily bag. So I'm gonna cut. I don't know whether that's gonna be a bit bigger. I can make that a little bit bigger. See what I mean? Wait a sec. Let me. So all you're doing is squishing it down. I don't know, I think that... Let me see. If it's not big enough, I can always add to it. I think I'll, I'm going to leave it with this white one. I'm going to make sure all the stuff in is tucked in. Pull it out, because it's the corners I need to glue it down. So, yeah. That was... What day was that? Tuesday? Tuesday night? And then I did a live on Facebook on Wednesday like I usually do. And I'm... Does anybody want to see what I made? Because I know you... Some of you don't, haven't got... You know, haven't got Facebook. Does anybody like to see what I made on... Or some of you aren't guys haven't even watched it yet. i show you now. One of the things... Well... You know how in the group we get three themes to choose from? One of the themes is Seaside. The other theme is Mary Antoinette. And then the last one, Seaside Mary Antoinette. Oh, God. What, what are the themes? Mary Antoinette, Seaside. 
somebody can what is your facebook group called um shirley what can anybody remember what the third theme is i can't think i'll, I'll get them out now on a piece of paper the group is called in fact i'll write that down let me just glue this so you can come and find us anybody's welcome um and i've made a folder on the group that you can put uh, youtube links in see i'm gonna write it down now for you dawn so you can come along and it's not just even though it is a swap group there's a lot more to it seaside mary Ant that was it thank you diana seaside mary antoinette and recycle to upcycle um and the color set were we right we get themes so you get three ten themes gets put into the hat three themes gets chosen out out of those three you um pick one and then there's it this time it was eight color sets put into the hat and three color sets were chosen so it was creams to browns shabby chic colors so you've got your pastels your creams your blues your pinks all that kind of color and clear glass of whites yellows and creams so a big massive mixture basically all your pastel colors so you pick a color set you could pick one color set you could pick all three totally up to you um same goes with the themes you could pick one theme or you can pick all three now i usually do it on a four week basis but because we've got um people in the group that are overseas and i'd like to join in on the swaps i've made it so you get six weeks um so you get six weeks to inspire so be inspired with something create and post the only rule rule i got and that's the only one that i'm sort of easy going on the group is when you do post make sure you post proof of postage because then that covers you um if anything goes missing because that's the last thing i'd want anybody's creations to go missing so that was the the only thing i say and then the other thing i've made on the group today is a file so um the file is on the group and it's called youtube channels um and basically what i've done is i've put on that folder the fact you can put your groups you can put your um youtube channels so i'm gonna read to you what the file is uh wait a sec no that's the wrong one um it's called it's in or oh, it's on my facebook group so i'm not looking at the comments in a minute i'm just gonna have a look at this um file i made up in facebook earlier oh come on being at the seaside it's okay eva I'm just looking at something and it decides to load I was just telling the ladies with the group um, about the group so I'll last load and I can't see the comments in it I'll tell you when I can see them this is what it's called on um, Facebook Yes, come on. Creational. I think it's A. Creational. I'll check that. Chris? See if Chris can help me. I think he can. Can you get me up the group? I can't remember. Is it A L on the end of creations? Country creational. Swaps. Yeah, I need the group. I'm trying to get it up on the device, but I can see the. There we are. Thank you, Diana. I couldn't remember whether it was AL. She, um... I need the file. What I put up on the file. So can I have my phone for two minutes? So this is what is called on Facebook, 
um, come over. I do lives on there with how I make things, um, what I've been up to, that kind of thing. YW. You're welcome. I had to figure out what that was then. I couldn't quite remember whether it's I've put an AL on the end. So even though swap group, there's loads that go on there. For example, when Chris gives me a microphone, I can read you out what I've put on that file. I made this uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, like I say, one of the themes was Mary Antoinette. So I've stuck with the themes. Um, and basically, it's a pot. It's clear at the bottom. And that's the lid. Now I've done the lid upside down to fit that little corset. It's a miniature corset, but I've quite made it big. I've also given her wings to make her into a fairy. So let me show you the bottom. That's the bottom of um, my corset part. Um, and that is the back. Now I used a applique right at the very bottom, um, and I guess there's so so many different layers. I'm gonna lift up a skirt. Nobody should lift up a lady's skirt. See, and then you've got a clear bottle. Now with that, I wish Chris would pass me my phone. Um, with that, I then. With the corset in mind, I used um, a trim. I can now see the comments, guys. I used a trim and I did some yellow at the bottom. This lid is obviously upside down. See? And then that, the, well, this here is felt that I had off Angie Paisy. Angie Paisy sent me three different kinds of felt. Let me get you the package out. Chris, can I have my phone, please? Yeah, these were the felts. Basically, what I did was I touched my phone for two minutes. I just need to go on to the com the that file I made today. Basically, what I did was I folded it in half. I made a slit. I put the lid on top, drew around my circle, and then followed the circle line. Brought the two parts together so it created a skirt. Stuck it at the bottom of my corset, and um. Then I used some lace and some dandles and flat back pearls and then a little butterfly trim and all the edge was done with um, some yellow trim. So that's what I've done. But that little pot, you can put anything in. Now, by anything, I mean you could put sort of anything. You could put sequins, just those little handy small bits. Um... And you then you could make a false top for it. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be um, what it is. Now that file I was on about. So that's what I made yesterday in my group. Um, and the file I said was it's called YouTube channels. Oh, there's the glare. See, that's what it's called. And I'll read out to you what it says. It says, "Hi everyone. I know some of us are." are I've got our own YouTube channel and watch certain channels so that the group doesn't get full of links because otherwise it's going to get bombarded with links um, please post you only on the file that I created with the links if it's found on the group wall then I will take it off and then and I will direct you back over to that f certain file and then everybody can go to that file and see all everybody's um, YouTube channels um, and then Basically, what I've said is if you add any links from YouTube that's craft related, just put it into the comment section below. And I've actually um, started it off and I've put my own. And if you agree to what I've said, just type agree in the comment section. And then that gives me, that, that to me is your promise to say that 
you're not going to put it on the wall and uh, you know it's not going to be bombarded with links that's where it's going to remain so yeah that's the only sort of two things on the group um, at present and um, the group's actually been running for quite some time now a couple of months um or so and it's yeah it, like i say it's been it's been really going really well and everybody re enjoys it so come on over don't let that sort of if that does scare you the fact the links and you don't quite understand it come on over um anybody's welcome and um yeah anybody's welcome to come on over and it's not just about swaps and if you want to join in with the swaps then just let me know if you've come over from youtube and you want to join in the swaps the swaps have actually just started everybody's got paired up but i always take that extra person on if they're beginning after everybody's paired up so you've always got that option so don't think that you've got to wait till the month's up to um, uh, join in on the swaps because you don't so that's the group um and she's just put that is very creative what you've done with the felt yep and i've used my yellow trim and some bedazzle she had to have a bizarre dazzle on her so that's what i've done on that back to this <laughs> so i hope i've answered everybody's question like i say um just come on over ava said she's been to the seaside did you have a nice time ava my earrings are hurting me does anybody ever get that when they've had earrings in all day i always get it now where have i put that uh, dish oh there. right so it's gonna sink in like that now i think because i want this to be a little bit higher up um i'm gonna use some more of my bandles to higher it I'm not worried about that polyester because it's just giving me a base. So I'm just going to continue adding. Let's say we we'll go with that one first. Um, and yeah, that's the group. But I'll always uh, share what I've done on here because I know not everybody has got Facebook. So I'll always share. Um, what i'm up to on the group now that has given it some depth but i'm going to keep going a little bit more so that's what i'm gonna do so did you have fun at the seaside eva i tell you what right we've had um we live about 10 minutes away from the seaside yeah and I love going to the seaside. It's probably one of my bestest things to go. I did thank you, so I've tried it. But it was so nice. Able to sit outside for breakfast and dinner. Oh, that sounds nice. So that's actually raised in our two more bandles. Look at the depth I've got. See? This dish is about, yeah, it's about one and a half inches deep. And I've made this to four inches, so it's giving it a bit of um, height to it. So now I've done my bandle bit, I want to put that to one side and I want to fill out the bottom. Now, with the bottom, I have got some gorgeous lace next to me, um, and like I say, if it gets too dark, I'll knock the light on. Um, I've got, I know I've just pulled some lace out, but I've got some of this lace. And mm -hmm. let me see this and this. Let me put the light on, guys, because it's getting dark, isn't it? There, is that better? So, I'm going to use my cheesecloth first to cover my base before I put any lace on at all. There. now i'm gonna have to tuck it in at the sides because if i don't and i glue it like that what will happen is every time i put my buttons in what will happens to the fabric 
Can you see it sinking? Can you see the fabric pulling? So that's why I gotta tuck it in a little bit on the side. I'm just gonna move these on the other side of me because if I don't, I'll have no room on my table or when I should go. See, I've got some nice trims next to me. Um, I've got some nice um, trims that I bought the other day. Right. I'm going to start on the side. Now, this is plastic, so it is going to... Um, it'll either do two things. It'll either melt or it'll dry really quick have to go ladies going shopping with my daughter well enjoy dawn i'm gonna put a little bit just there and I'm, then i'm gonna start it off and just pinch all the way around so all it's done is dry really quick so that was that's been me for the past couple of days i've I've done um, videos on how that little corset. Where did you buy the trims the other day? Oh, Angie Paisy is on about. I did a, on Facebook, I did show you guys, but I keep forgetting that I need to do it on year two. Now, I have used the butterfly trim on that corset. So the trims I bought the other day were... That blue one that you've just seen me cut up. Um, let me just get a bit. And it was quite big. Let me just get the bits and pieces. Right. You, you saw that it was all in one before I cut it up, right? So it sort of arrived. I don't know. So a bit like that. It was all in one. Um, then I received that. This leaf trim and this. And then there was something else. There was one other little bit of uh, thing. Now that all came from... I've got the receipt. Now this leaf trim, as you see here... There was three little doilies. I've used the butterfly on the corset. But I can't remember what I've done with the other piece. It's probably in my box without me looking. If it'll be on top. I don't know whether it will. But we'll have a gander. Mm, no, I'm just making a right mess. Anyway, there was three little trims she'd put in. Um, as a way of saying thank you. But before I tell you what she put in, this is what I paid for. So I had, it came from America. Um, and like I say, you've just seen me cut all that up. So I've got two, four, I've got five pieces there and a bit of what it was stuck to. Is it just those five? I think it was just those five, right? Then I've got this leafy trim. Now this leafy trim is that and there's you were brave cutting things up do you know i didn't even think about that until you just said <laughs> no i when i see things like that i will look at it and think all oh, right so i can cut that up so i'll probably cut the middle out of that and that'll be my background and build my flower up so they, they've done so that middle bit i'll probably this is what i'm probably do. Let me show. Oh, I found the other piece. Right, let me show you what I would do. Mm -hmm. So, I'd cut the middle off. Because it's all, all it is is just a bit of thread. Right? And it's just threaded on on the back. Um, you know, on the sides. Now, it all depends on whether you want to cut it up. If you didn't want to and you wanted to use it as it was, you could do. Um, 
things like this I will say I will dismantle it to get more from it so that's probably what I would have done to leave that build on it so make another segment to it and then put that back on because this all this is is just Pete's Pete's bits of little doily so I've even got them now if I wanted to and that middle one all that is is she's made a slit in the middle and she's just brought it in like so can you see that did you see how I did that I'll do it again she's made a slit in the middle she's brought this end in so curled it in so say that was at the three o'clock this is now at the nine o'clock this end turn it in on the inside is at nine turn that side now facing 12 all the way around to three and then you've got like a star of a little rose see but i quite like dismantling things because it goes further in my eyes anyway so i would probably keep that as it was make another layer and then uh, possibly put one or two of these back on top so by the time I'm finished with this it'll probably have another two or three layers um, and then I've got all these bits on the end so I'm the kind of girl where I'd go in the shop and I'd either sit there for hours upon hours trying to figure out how something's made or I cut it up that's the, kind of, that's the two things I would do so that trim, as you could probably see, that was an all-in-one piece. And that cost me, it was one sequin flower. Um, I asked for it in blue. And it was two, two $18. So that's two, $2.80? $2.80. So, yeah, the other way. And then this leafy trim. Which I'm going to show you what I would do with this right so that that there would be one piece so if I cut it there that's my one which my leafy trim or I could use it as one piece if I was using it in single pieces I would get one two three four five six uh, seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 leaves on, on that sort of strip. Or you can either, like I say, you can either use it a single or one piece. Now that leafy trim cost me, one yard of it cost me $3.60. $3.60? This cents be on would the cents be 60 i don't know <laughs> but it's three dollars 60 cents it's american and then this which i love i might use this actually tonight now this has actually got if i bring it out so you guys can see it's an actual netting but as you sort of go further and further and further let me get to the name are you can see it's up dyed color it's gone from white to cream to brown and then right on the end is gold sequins now i love that absolutely love that thank you diana i thought it was right. thank you for telling me that was right um this was gorgeous uh variated netting fiber trim with gold sequins and this was one dollar thirty now you can ask me where it came from so let me show you oh and then what she did was she stuck one two and that little butterfly on the back that little butterfly there right she stuck those two those three pieces in a a little tea bag i'm trying to think what i did with the i can't think what i did with the packaging 
but it was in a like a little tea bag thing and she put three little things in with a little note saying thank you and this she's on and then she wrapped it up with these little heart stickers so everything was wrapped up so that's what she is on this is where i got it from etsy e-s-t-y and that's what she's called on etsy a mom sim impressions and she's called roxy car 11 here on youtube so i'll leave that up for a little bit longer and then my other little items that i had which i'll get out for you while you're looking at that were this there's 40 inches of each oh there's the little note tiny little note see um right so that that was the best shop this is the channel she's an absolute excellent crafter like i say and as i always say if i come across um a real good crafter on youtube i'll let you guys know and she's one of um she's sort of up there being with all you guys because all you guys are all excellent crafters what i've seen so far so this um, is real tiny beads and what's great about these is they're not completely round with front and back they're on a like an elastic string um they are front and back they've got a little hole in but front and back they're flat so they're not complete they're round in the middle but not round front and back um and there's 40 inches of that there right and then there's 40 inches of them ones a little bit bigger so that they are completely flat they're completely round so they're a bit wider and a little bit bigger now i'm gonna see oh there we are that's three mil and then the bigger one is the bigger one is five mil that's five mil and that's three mil and they came from wish w-i-s-h and all i paid for them was for the postage i didn't pay for the actual item and they were that was a pound and then this one was a pound 50 so for 40 inches of each especially those i know i've got the let me just do something because it's bugging me There we are. Um, 40 inches of each. You can't complain. So now I've got some beads. So that's my sort of my shop haul for this week. I might keep in the packets. So has anybody else been shopping this week that they'd like to tell us about? And what did they get? I keep meaning to go to the range. Um, yeah. Roxy Carr has a tutorial for Gypsy Book. Absolutely beautiful. Great tutorials with every page. Well, I will definitely be going to watch that, Angie Paisley. Um, I've been watching you all day today. <laughs> And I caught up on Susan's um, videos. That was Susanna 8 um, the other day. And she made a gypsy bag. And if you haven't gone to see that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. So all I'm doing is I'm just putting this, uh, you know, that cheesecloth I got from the charity shop. Now, I'm not gluing it tight because I want it sort of ruffled in the middle. Not too much, but enough so that it gives... I don't want it to complete, be completely flat. So, um, I don't know... I know you, some of you will watch this back. 
Um, I'm thinking of doing a lo another little competition. Um, I'm actually, I did one when I re reached 100 and I'm nearly at 130 subscribers. Um, and I'd love to have it um, if we did a little competition. And what I was thinking was, um, I'm, oh, I'm going to do a video on it. Um, or shall I do a video? I do what I've got in my head or shall I? What do you guys fancy? Do you fancy a making competition or something that you've got to make? And I won't, I won't pick the winner of course because I know you all. Um, or would you not prefer it? You don't make anything and send anything in, and you just do it like you did last time, where you guessed how many that was in the egg carton box. Shall I run that one? So, what do you prefer? You'd let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer making something? Would you like to make something and send it in? And then I'll get a complete, I'll get one of my family members to pick that. I won't pick the winner because, of course, that's not very fair. Or would you like? I was thinking if I get one to do the guessing game. Angie Brown says, do the guessing game. Okay. Okay. Right, okay then. That's the challenge. I will do the guessing game. The guessing game. Um Right, I've got I've got I've got the just the guessing game. This is the guessing game, right? This is the competition. There is one two three four Five. Um. Right. Guessing game, yeah. The guessing game is. See these beads? And there's them ones. Let me just move this dish. This is what I added in my head. There's that. Um, check some of them in. And then to be really spontaneous, I think I will put this in. So, the guessing game is, you've got to guess... How many beads have I got here? I'll put them in a little dish. I'm working on my little dish. Let me try and find a little dish. No, wrong little dish. Um, no, I've got a little dish in there somewhere. Right. The guessing game. Now, it is one, two, three, four. There's five lots of beads here. There is some purple ones. Right. There is some black ones. Tiny, 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 tiny. Can you count them into the dish? Yeah, right, Deva. Haha, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> There's some of these. Now, these are proper Jasper stones. So you can clearly see how many's in there. There is some of these um, black diamond beads, and then there's some of these. Okay. Now I'm also going to put in one of one of those, and there's some roses. And the game is, you've got to guess. How many beads have I got in my dish? 
and I will open this competition tonight um, and I will close it what day are we on today? Thursday today isn't it? I will close it on say a week, say next Friday I'll close it then you've got to guess how many is there including those flowers they chucked in so that's the game that's the that's the competition and i'm going to take it away i'm going to be real cruel and i'm not going to count them either nice try that's the game so it opens tonight and ends um next friday and then i will go through i love chris counter beats no i counted them last time I'll count them again tonight and I will release the winner on live next Friday how can we tell you in the comments you know like you did last time you put um you know like you did last time in the comment section and I will put this in with there so the game is guess how many beads and flowers are in this and how many flowers do you think I used on this because there's flowers in there so not showing any more now so beads and how many flowers did I use on my little project so all together give me a round of figure all together Don't put it in the live chat because once um, tonight is over, the live chat disappears. So put it in the comment section after I finish doing the video is the best bet to do it. Otherwise I won't see what you've written. And if we haven't got uh, the correct number, I will um, go closest to. Now, I've left that dead in the centre. I'm going to leave a little bit off the edges there's a reason for me doing it right. see how that's because I haven't gone in tight with it it's quite loose now this end isn't glued down so how is everybody apart from that? Um, I haven't been up to much. Been crafting. Oh, my car. I'm not having it. They said, well, I went and the reception lady said, oh, how can I help you? Oh, when you can't, she looked at me with two hands. I went, I can see my car. She went, oh, you must be Colette. I went, yeah, that's right. I said, you don't mind me going to have a look at this car? I said, I haven't seen it. Yay, of course, yes, so there I was over by my car. The garage guys obviously thought I was on something um, because they were going and oh, all come over. They were coming over, everything okay? Everything okay? Went, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I just I just want to see my car, that's all. Okay, just give us a shout or come in the office when you're ready. Like, I just want to see my car. Right, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I've got some buttons now to keep that falling like it is before I stick my buttons on I just want to stick this lace on the bottom so I'm just gonna go around the edges with my lace oh what does Angie Paisy say Likey, likey, me likey. I've been watching her all day. Do you know what Chris said to me earlier? I was, I was busy. Well, I was. I was busy watching Angie Paisley's video, and he wanted me to get something out of the printer. And he was sort of outside. And you know, those men do talk through the window. It drives me up the wall. But anyway, he talked through the window, and he was going, "Clad, yeah, yeah. What's the matter? What's the matter?" He said, um, can you get that thing out the printer? I've sent something over to the printer. Well, 
he said if I speak in a Bristol accent will you listen to me then I was going shh and she's on <laughs> mm. so I've been watching her all day now I put some on the bottom I'm not bothered by that little bit for there but I am going to cut and round it off So what do you guys use bundles for? I must admit, um, last night when I made that little project, um, that wasn't the first time I've used bundles, but I haven't, I, when um, Shirley sent them me, I was, uh, you know, that way where you're like, oh, what do I do with them, what do I do with them? They've been sat on my table forever and a day. And uh, I thought, oh, I've got to do something with them now. I've got to do something. And I took my, I had my craft stuff on the tray. I don't know whether anybody else does that. And sit, and I was sitting in front of the TV. And all I had on my ta on my craft table, my little ta um, tray, not craft table, we meant about little tray, was flowers, my bracelets. And for whatever reason, I had foam around me and I'm thinking, hmm, I know what to do with these. So that's what I did. Can you hear those footsteps? My dog. See, and it just... It's, I'm basically doing the puzzle all the way around. Ow. I need to get that water solution next to me I know I was going to ask you ladies right I love using flat back pearls um, and I usually use tacky uh, glue to put my flat back pearls on what I was going to ask was do you know for any other glue that I can use for flat back pearls on or what do you guys use do you use um tacky glue or do you use your hot glue gun or kind of glue do you use because I've always used my tacky glue but I don't know I just want to if I can find a glue that would be a lot easier to put my um, flat back pills on that's what I'm going to do you know so I've done that all in lace now Right, and the bottom has got uh, some cheesecloth, hot glue, fabric tack. You use hot glue, Angie Paisy. Deanna use fabric tack, like fabric glue. Is that what you mean? Can you see where I'm going with this? Right, now, I've got my buttons. You saw my buttons right at the very beginning. My buttons. My buttons. My buttons. This is what I'm going to do with my buttons. Now I could chest with them so they'll all become the same colour but I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my buttons. Now this has actually got a uh, Paris on. Can you see the Eiffel Tower on that? And we're just going to stick them on the side. All the way around. Different buttons all the way around. What else was I going to say to you? Oh. I was watching Angie Paisy today. I know. I've been watching it. I have been busy watching her. And Angie touched on a subject. And I just thought what you all guys thought of it. Um, about copying. And about people copying your work. Um, I look at that a completely different angle. And when i told angie paisy today she's like oh never i never used to look at it like that i just wondered what you guys felt if say for argument's sake somebody copied your work how would you feel about it now personally myself i believe that if somebody goes out specifically to copy you 
then they've gone to a lot of trouble. Let's get it right. Um, not everybody is going to ask for permission to use your ideas and they certainly are not going to ask um, whether they can use it. Not everybody sort of thinks like we we guys do. Um, and I just wondered what you sort of felt on it because I look at it as being... Put it this way, if somebody was to copy me, right, they've gone to an awful lot of trouble to do it. Because, let's be fair, they have would have had to knock my video on for starters. They would have also had to get the same stuff. So for them to sort of go out of their way um, and to pick something up, that, you know, that to me is an awful lot of trouble. And the way I look at it is it must be doing something right. That's gorgeous. Must be doing something right for them to do it. And that's the way I sort of look at it. Um, I know others feel like they shouldn't copy their work. But in my eyes, if you're on YouTube, um, you've already given permission for somebody to copy your work, whether you want to or not, because you're on YouTube. Um, and it just goes to show that you're doing something right. That's the way I, I feel about it anyway. It's the way I've always felt about it. So I'm going to stick these buttons all the way around. I want the bottom to be as useful as the top. Some green. Some of these are proper vintage buttons. I wonder where Polly is tonight. Any news from Polly? I oh, so bad to stop them. I um oh I've got some of this. Oh, I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Um, I love playing about with my buttons, to be fair I do. Because with buttons, have you seen those new pictures that everybody makes? They can make like elephants and, and um, oh, you know, like different things. Elephants, hearts, I've seen one in done out of um done out of buttons and they've created a picture and they've stuck a ton of buttons all the way around it's really really good the way that, it, that they the way that they do it it's not to everybody's taste but um i just find it it's just really clever how they how they put all the buttons together and come up with this beautiful picture can you see what I'm going? I think I'd like a verbal mention such as I... I think I would like a verbal mention such as I was inspired. I think I would like a verbal mention. Oh, yes. I know what you're saying. Like if somebody was copying you, you would like, you would... I know what you're trying to say to me. You would want them to say where they've got the idea from. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I think so. I think I think I I'm with you on that, Ava. Um, but I also in my mind, um, I just I don't know. I I don't think everybody's gonna do it. Does that make sense? I would want them to say my name. Don't get me wrong. If they've got the idea from me, then. I'd love for them to turn around and say, oh, got the idea from Colette, or, you know what I mean? But you are going to get those people who won't ask and will just carry on and do. But, yeah, I, I do get what you're coming from, and I, yeah, I do agree with you. I do agree with you 100% now. Can you see where I'm going with that? Yeah, it's, that's it, Colette, that's it. So yeah, I sort of get understand what you're saying, um, and yeah, it's just I know on the flip side that not everybody's gonna ask permission, um, 
most likely what they'll do is they'll go ahead with your creation they'll make it and then they won't um they won't mention you you will get the nice people that will say that yeah i got the idea from or whatever but i just know in my heart and i've seen it on youtube um they've got the idea and you can see that the idea has come from somewhere else but i also know that they're not very shy in telling you where that they've got that idea from does that make sense now i've got some of this trim i always ask before i do but i'm not into what you all make i make quilts and things for babies also for little girls but I like watching you all love you ladies love you too angie right so i'm gonna put the trim all the way around now now i'm just thinking shall i color the end shall i color the end I think I'm going to colour my end with these Winks of Stella pens. They're called Wink of Stella. Um, and I'm not sure if they'll go on fabric. We'll find out now. We will find out. Right. Maybe I'll see ya. See, so you guys can see that. That's the pen and you sort of push the top when the ink doesn't come out. So I'm going to, I'm just going to colour the bottom bit of this trim. See? And it's giving that little pink finish because I've got colours in the bandles. Now what I've got is I've got pink, green and yellow in these pens. And I had these pens off a seller off eBay. Bedlam Crafts, we're the same place I got my cartridges from. But I don't know if this is supposed to go on fabric but we will find out. So if I've just pushed there, the ink flows down to the nib. Nub, nib, nub. Right. Can you see that? Hi, Susanna. That looks great. Collect clever girly. Oh, thank you, Angie. Better late than never. Bless you guys. Right, so I've got yellow and green. Now, because of the buttons I've got on my dish and the colours I've got going on on those bandles, I think I will pick the yellow up to pick the yellows up in the buttons right and I think I'm just going to colour the trim and they're called Winks of Star now I've never heard of them before until I come across them and I really like the colours really really like the colours So apart from me scaring Chris this week, that's all I've been doing. When I saw my car, didn't I? And I can't tell you the colour of my car because um, I'm actually keeping it a surprise. My uh, mum doesn't know the colour of it. Hello, Deanna, Claire and Angie P. Everyone else. Mum doesn't know the colour of it. I'm keeping it a surprise because... The idea was she didn't know when I was on the car and I was going to drive up to her house, beat the door, and she'd have complete, be completely clueless as to when I'm on the car. But there was a problem getting down there, so she now knows when I'm having the car. And uh, see, you guys see the colours on that? I always picked up. And um, yeah, so she knows when I'm on the car. So what I'm going to now, I'm just thinking, oh yeah, I need to paint that end. Now, with these Winx of Stellas, you can actually go over paper foam flowers. 
I need to tell her about the guessing game. Oh, I need to tell I've got a little competition going on, Susan. Uh, I will show you guys again. It's going to end next week. Um, and it's basically a guessing game. I made something last night, created something. Um, and you've got to guess how many flowers I've used. Plus, guess how many uh, beads are in the tray. Uh, it needs an all beat an all round figure. This is the thing I made last night. Guess how many flowers I've used in there. Used it with bandles, look, see? Right, and then guess how many beads are in here. So there's beads in there. There's tiny, tiny beads in there. There's beads in there. There's big, huge, chunky beads in there. There's jasper, pure jasper beads in there. And then there's a bunch of flowers. Oh, and then there's that. So we need an all round figure. Don't put it in the comments section on the live because by the time I come off, the live chat disappears. So once I'm finished, if you want to join in, uh, put it in the comments section under the video because then I can go back to it. And it'll finish next Friday. Um, this needs a little bit more colour. It'll finish more. It'll finish next Friday, and if I haven't got the, if somebody, one of you haven't got the correct number, I'll go nearest to. I'm one more, I think. Do you know I keep meaning to get Tim Holtz to more Tim Holtz. Um, inks if I'm doing something like this I always like to have kitchen roll underneath so that once I'm finished doing this the um I can just take the kitchen she won't count them for us how unfair is that no I won't count them I know I I, I would I would yeah throw me to the lions Throw me to the lions a little bit more. I need to go to there. Let me see. Mm. So, yeah, that's one. Right, let me colour them in. Oh, and I've ordered some more beads. Throw me to the lions, Ava. Tell you what. Throw me to those lions. You really are terrible. Well, I'm, you, did you join in last time? I'm sure you did. I'm sure everybody did. So I'm just sticking it just underneath. I am pulling it a little bit because it does need pulling. Now I'm not going to, this is going to be a little bit bright. I won't go in for bright, never mind. <laughs> oh, that burnt. Caught me on the palm of my hand today, just there. Of course there's no skin on the palm of your hand or the back. Right. Um. Yeah. It is a bit bright, but I am going for bright and colourful. Now, what else have I got to stick on there? Have I got any flat back pearls? It's not, this is not going to be to everybody's taste and it probably won't be. I think I'm going to stick a bit of pearl around this before I stick it in there. Ooh. I just wanted to bring the colour out on the bandles more than anything else. And now this way I've got, um, you've made your own handmade gadget, which is why I named it your handmade gadget. Because now it not only holds pins, but it holds um, buttons, tape measures, the lot. You could do these with your old band, you could do them with your old bandles, you could have... Cut a circle out. Chris has done that for me before now. 
I've had to circle out to uh, dress it up. But I was so far off like I usually am. I could only laugh. Ah, oh, bless. Well, you won't know unless you have a go. Now, I've coloured that pink. That's going to sit in there like that. And I am going to actually glue this in. Right. Take this dish away. I just love the button I got recently. Mm. Wait a sec. I just love buttons. I recently got a whole pound of vintage Mother of Pearl one. All shapes and sizes. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, that sounds really nice. Now, that, it is loose because of the lace. Right. See? Now, it is bright. It is really, really bright. I'm hoping, shall I use the blue? How many of these have I got? One, one, two, oh, sugar. One, two, three, four. Nah, I won't use blue. Um, what do I need? I don't need that anymore. So, I haven't gone for your bright... You know, your vintage colours. I've got more colourful. Just thinking now. Um, buttons now. Let's see. Right. Got these tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Now in here. I've got some of these green. I was... Bring them all out. In here, I've got some yellow tiger's eye and some clear glass beads, some green beads, and there's like sort of spacer beads. Um, it's got tiger's eye. Now, you could make this up and um, completely cut, completely gesso your buttons and then go over in. In a colour that you wanted to, just for an eye, completely an idea. See, I'm going to switch them around. Oh. There and there. No, new one, new two, because they're quite big and chunky. There's the hole, there's the hole, there's the hole, there it is. I'm going to put plain ones in. Right, and then I have got oh, some of these. So I haven't gone complete vintage with this, as you can probably see. I've gone from bright and colourful. I love these green beans. Green beans? What am I on about? Green beads! Green beads. And again. Put a plain one in. 
Uh, we'll put some tilde ones in. And then I will have Chris pick somebody for this to go to. Now we'll put some of these green beads in and what else have I got? I'll put one of these in right and I will put a couple of these bozak things in for you to get an idea green beans I know I don't know why I've got green beans in my mind right and I've got some of these tassels um, I'm gonna fill it up full of bits and pieces um now that's for the put one of these in So, who would like my, there we are, there's that, and let me just pull one more in, my very, very colourful, um, love the pink, there we are, the leaf on there. Who would like my very, very colourful um, container? A little gadget I've made. I've put some doilies in. There's some um, bits and pieces in. And I will throw a bit more in there. But let me know and I can write your name down. Oh, if nobody wants it, I'll keep it for myself. If Deanna wants it. So that's me gone out the window. <laughs> Neither wants it. Okay, okay, quick. Tiana. Ava. Sue's so's Hannah. Uh, Shirley. Oh, wow. Shirley. Angie Brown and Angie Paisy. Angie P, Angie uh, B, Angie Paisley, Angie Brown, and Sh I've got Shirley, I've got Shirley. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. Anybody else? Right. So I'll add some more bits in there. But for now, that's all I can sort of put my hands on. But I will be adding some more bits and pieces. What am I doing? I'm not folding this, cutting it. I'm going to get my trusted hat out now. So it's not vintage, but it's a gadget that your buttons and your needles will stay in. Subway, so you guys can see that. Surely, I'm going to write your name on a different piece of paper. Yeah, it's better. That one's ripped. Right, I'm going to fold them up and then I'm going to put them in my hat. If I don't win it, can I make one? Just asking before. Yes, of course, you can make one. Anybody wants to make a version of this? In vintage shambi chic, you have my permission. If anybody wants to make any of my creations, you have my permission. That's why I share them. That's why they're on my channel. If there was ever something that I didn't want you guys to... They're all folded the same, look. If there was ever something that I didn't want to be shared, I wouldn't share it on YouTube. Okay? I'm just going to fold all these and then I'm going to... Like I say, it's going to be fuller than that. I'm just going to find some bits and pieces. 
action scene. Maybe they had the beads over then and then anybody would have I'm gonna put that in for you guys to have a go at making your own. May not be like yours, that's okay. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six things there was my trusty one. Move that there so you guys can see the hat. Chris, can you come and pick the winner? I actually burnt the back of my hand, look. So it caught me. Mm, yes, me too. Anything you want to create, you have my blessings. There we are. Chris, Christopher, come and pick the winner. I thought you called me about 20 minutes ago. And then... Can you come and pick a winner, please? Pick a winner. Nothing on my arm. Alright, thank you ladies. Thank you ladies. God, there's quite a few now. Yeah. Okay. There we are. Do -do 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 ah! <laughs> Angie Paisy, you have won. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. And just to clarify, there was one, two, three, four, five. There's five names still left in the hat. So Angie Paisy, you've won. So that's Ava's name, Deanna's name, Angie Brown's name, Shirley's name, and Susanna. So you guys, Angie Paisy has won. So Angie Paisy, I will get this in the post. Like I say, I'll add a few more bits to it so you it'll fill up a little bit more so well done on winning oh my god i'm such a lucky girl oh bless you um let me know if you want to have a go at the competition i will show you one more time one more guys one more time this is the competition to guess how many beads i have in here and how many flowers did i use on this creation okay um, right there in the comment section after this video and the competition for that will end next Friday I'll come on and do it live and I will show you guys next Friday who's the winner so congratulations Angie Paisy you have won this I will fill it up a little bit more for you and then I will pop it in the post and I'll let you know when it's been popped in the post so you can keep an eye out for it thank you everybody for watching tonight um I know it wasn't chubby chic or vintage i switched it up this this week and we did a bit of something a little bit different i hope um if like I say if you want to come over to the group anybody's welcome and you'd be more than welcome um but for now angie pays you won this i will it's thursday today so i should be back doing a live towards the end of the week saturday maybe um or monday night depending on how i'm feeling but i will let you guys know when i'll make an event near the time thank you everybody and like i say if you give it a go let me know send me pictures i'd love to see the pictures of you giving this a go um and thank you shirley for sending those bundles to me so i'd love it and leave you all tonight thank you all for watching Mwah! Um, subscribe, like or comment underneath and I will look forward to them. I'll speak to you all on to towards the end of the week. No star, good night, speak to you all then. Take care now. Bye.